So why was this Mars flyby such a monumental deal? Because our assets there could see what Earth couldn't. As 3i Atlas approached, its position in the sky made it impossible to view with ground-based telescopes since it was lost in the glare of the sun. But our Martian orbiters were in the perfect position. Think about what that means. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter carries the high-rise camera, an instrument so powerful it can spot a coffee table on the Martian surface from 300 kilometers up. In theory, high-rise could capture images resolving the comet's nucleus or any fragments breaking off with unprecedented detail. Then you have the spectrometers. ESA's Mars Express and the Trace Gas Orbiter are equipped with instruments like Omega and Nomad, designed to detect trace amounts of gases in an atmosphere. Pointed at the comet's coma, they could have sniffed out its chemical composition, telling us if it was made of the same stuff as our comets, or something truly alien. Dr. Amy Meinzer, a leading expert on comets, has emphasized that these objects are pristine leftovers from the formation of other solar systems. Getting a direct chemical reading from 3i Atlas would be like analyzing a core sample from a planet being born light years away. 